So, it's it's my day off, obviously. Kaya ako nagpo-post, diba? Uh, <laughs> nandito kami ngayon sa aquarium, na aquarium, sa fish store. Nagpapa, ano si Phil, um, refill, refill ba yung tawag dun? Nagpapa, ano siya na salt water. Kasi binibili namin siya. Kailangan na daw palitan ng tubig yung sa aquarium niya. Medyo maano din yung aquarium, ha? medyo ma to dito ma matrabaho actually. So, yan tapos pupunta kami ng Trader Joe's. It's time to bili-bili the food. <laughs> bili-bili the food. Yan, sakit pa rin yung ipin ko. Maano pa rin siya, parang hindi pa rin ako makanguya. Yan, nasagutin ko lang tong ano ni um Cora Asuncion. Thank you for um, responding or commenting sa video. So, meron dito. Kasi I think this is um, usapang insurance ng nurses. Kapag nurse ka na dito sa Amerika. Isa sa mga hindi mo dapat kalimutan is kumuha ng malpractice insurance. So, sabi ni Cora Asuncion, I am a retired nurse of 35 years in federal hospital and 14 year sorry, 14 years private, but if you follow work ethics and put your mind into your work, I don't think patients or family will sue you. Okay. I would say that's a half half. Okay? Because guys, I have lots of experience Lots talaga, you know. Pero meron akong kwento na, you know, there's nurse followed health et, uh, health ethics, you're, you know, very nice to the family and everything. And the, this patient, nahulog siya. Nahulog siya, and then, the family sue. Okay? Nag-sue sila. Kasi, nahulog yung pasyente. You know, sabi nila, it's uh, parang, kasalanan ng, ng hospital na nahulog yung pasyente. It's not directly to the nurse, but the nurse, of course, syempre, kasali siya sa <coughs> tinatawag nilang witness stand. So, kapag pinatawag yung ng court, yung witness ng hospital, so, kasama yung nurse and kasama yung tech or yung CNA. So, isa yun sa mga hindi ako nag-agree, Miss Cora Asuncion. I'm sorry. Uh, I respectfully disagree <laughs> na sa sinasabi ninyo na kapag ang isang um, nurse is following work ethics and everything, um, the family will not sue. Actually, they will sue you. So, you have to cover your license. You have to cover, you know, yung pinaghirapan mo. So, better get ML practice insurance. Um, kasi you will never know. So, kung iisipin mo, gusto ba ng nurse or ng hospital na mahulog yung patient? No. But still, the family sue them. So, yes, those simple things na makikita mo is you have to be very, very, very careful. Um, also, see, I've learned something new with my co-worker. Uh, she's been a nurse for more than 10 years, maybe 16 years on everything. May nagsabi daw sa kanya na dapat kung nag-work ka sa hospital, don't get a malpractice, ins malpractice insurance. Kasi kapag nagkataon, the insurance will not, or the hospital, parang magkocontradict yung hospital attorney sa attorney mo. So, I don't know how true is that. So, if you have any experience about that, can you please um, share your experience? Because I never heard about it, but it does make sense yung sinasabi niya. Nanbawa, merong kaso sa hospital and kasama yung nurse. So, if you have malpractice insurance, syempre, doon ka sa attorney mo pupunta. But, you have to cooperate also doon sa hospital dahil kasama ka doon sa um, pinapatawag nila. So, I don't know how it... No, we were like... I was just saying about the... Because there was like one comment about malpractice like insurance. The, because somebody said that... I forgot her name. To better get insur malpractice mm -hmm. insurance while practicing nursing here in the U.S. And then one person commented that she worked in a federal government for 14 years and everything. And she never got sued. And as long as you have work ethics and you're doing your job well, then you're not going to get sued by the family. Uh, 
that's that's what I'm saying. I said I respectfully I respectfully disagree, yeah. but you know I shared saying that you know sometimes things happen and family will sue you. Like you know will sue you every little single thing. So you have to get a malpractice insurance. But then one of my co-worker saying she's been a nurse for 16 years. Mm -hmm. She's very nice. I like her. She said that somebody told her not to get a malpractice insurance on your own because if something happened the the attorney of the uh, hospital and your attorney and malpractice insurance contradict to each other so it kind of uh, makes sense you know like what if the your attorney and malpractice insurance says don't talk to them you know like but then you have to cooperate with them because you're working in you know in the hospital so something yeah, like that, that so so I don't know. So I said, if somebody experienced that, maybe they can share because I, I really don't, you know. The other thing is maybe if they find out they have it, then they may, they may have an incentive to sue for even more because then it's like, oh, you oh, know, that's true, we, right? We can, you know, she also has insurance. So because sometimes they do that with, or they like bodily injury. They'll yeah. find out what you know the limits are for yeah, the policy, that's true. and then they'll sue for that limit. If it's very low, then they know. Ah, uh, they know so I didn't cares. know that. But I didn't, I don't know, you I know, mean, so. I mean, I'm just. <clears throat> we're just like, we're just thinking because that's what my coworker said. And I said, I didn't know that. And my other coworker was saying like, oh yeah, like that makes sense. But, you know, when they were in school, the teacher said that's the first thing the teacher told them to, that's the first thing the teacher told them to get a malpractice insurance. But I don't know. It's like a contradict. So like you talk to different people, they have different yeah, opinions, and different, yeah. Different opinions. But you know, some people experienced it, so they have more mm -hmm. of it. You know. The hospital will cover you. Yeah, the hospital um, will cover you. I, I think you would need, unless it was like really determined they did something. Yeah. Really. But but then again, I mean, it could be that maybe you didn't, and then they just want to settle. Or, yeah. Or they just don't want Headache. Yeah. So then it'll make you seem like you did do something. Uh huh. Yeah. That yeah, I gotta buy this. I'm gonna buy that. Violet bag. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> yeah, we have green, you have yellow, we have every. <laughs> Bamboo smells actually good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. Yeah. 
<laughs> so how much all in all? I don't know. 280 I think. Look at this. I really love this. I really like this. Sorry. <laughs> I need to go over there. Yo! The coconut water and the. I think it's in here. Oh, okay. It's okay. Now, meatballs. Ow! We made it now. Oh, oh. We made it na to. Oh, it's beautiful. Look. Bajo. It's nice. Look at that. It's nice with the black. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ang ano, bilis ng oras, 7.30 na. I said that the time is so fast, it's already 7.30. I'm gonna make the... Italian meat balls. And then Phil is washing the dishes. Thank you, honey. He always does that every night. What? He always do. Especially if I have work. Nawawala yung stand ko. Yung tawag dito, beef and yung parmesan cheese. Yung parmesan cheese... Ano siya, hindi siya yung nabibili, nabibili, nasa fridge siya. Hindi siya yung uh, powder, kasi yung powder, hindi siya nabubuo. Or parang hindi siya na, na-incorporate dahil meron siya kasamang chemical something. Eko ba? Ano ba yun? Ano 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 yun? Tapos, ang ko, half na beef and then half na, na pork. This is a this is a different kind of parsley. And then parsley. Oh, much other marami. Parami yung parsley ko. I don't know. <laughs> Yan, siguro ganyan na. And then, garlic. No measurement. Just love garlic. <laughs> How much do you love the garlic? Well, from 1 to 10. <laughs> Eleven, and then we do breadcrumbs as well, and then eggs. I might forget. Pagsama-samain mo lang siya yan. Breadcrumbs lang yan. The basil, basil. So dried na siya, no? And then, oregano. Yeah. Natanda ko nung bata ko, may tanimin kami nito eh. Yung oregano. Sa harap ng bahay. Madali lang. Sabi ko, ano to? Tapos ginagawang siya ng nanay ko. And then egg. You have the bluey... Oh, it's okay. Meatloaf. Ah, meatballs. 
You have the bluey. Can I go so. balls with you? Oh no, I'm almost done. Thank what? you, baby. Yeah. Can I have some pasta? Yes, you can. I'm not gonna put eggs on the pasta. It's just a pasta with sauce, right? No sauce. No sauce? Yeah. Some of you will do something, but I mean, like, you know, ibobo'y lalagay mo lang siya ganyan sa ice cream scooper. Tapos lalagay mo lang siya sa kamay mo and ibilog mo lang na ganyan. Yun na. Para lang, ano siya, pantay-pantay na lupi. Tapos, like I said, we're gonna bake it in 400 the 400 na um, oven. But guys, or lagdagan natin tong ulit. If you don't have an oven, you can just fry it in an olive oil or sa tawag dito? Um, ordinary oil. Ipa-fry, ipa-brown mo lang yung ano niya, labas niya. Para may kulay. Yun lang. So, yeah. Ko lang, hinihintay ko lang, ata na. Ito na yung ating oven. So, ipapasok ko na yung ayos tong yung camera ko. Kailangan ko na yan. <laughs> ipapasok ko na tong meatloaf. So, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. Pero kung, you know, kung medyo meticuloso kayo sa pagkain, sa presentation, de, gandahan nyo yung pagbilog, ba? <laughs> Kamit-kami kami lang na makakain. So, yan. So, nalagyan natin dyan for 30 minutes. The timer ko para hindi ko makalimutan at hindi ko masunog. Diba? And then, yun lang. Ito yung pasta. May kulay siya kasi yan yung pinili ni Phil. Ewan ko ba, masarap daw siya, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> it's healthier, I think. Kasi yung color niya is from, from the vegetables. So, yan. Pakakuluan mo lang siya hanggang sa lumambot. Ito. Ito, meron na siyang nakagawa na ganito. Binibili na lang namin. I don't know if it's like six dollars or ten. So that, huh? <laughs> Thank you. So, inalagay natin siya dito sa sa pot. Okay. There you go. And then, saka natin dyan lalagay yung meat balls at pakukuluan natin. There you go. Tapos na tong ating meat balls. Oh. <laughs> meat balls. Ganyan siya. Okay, tapos ilalagay natin siya doon sa sa sauce na pinakukuluan natin. Okay? Parang mas maganda nga minsan i-ano na lang, ipirito, ano? Kasi parang na, ano sila mas mas nababrown. Parang ganun. O feeling ko lang yun. <laughs> Ito na. Ay, hindi masyado maganda yung presentation. Ayan. With my, my cheese siya. Ano? Parmesan. Grated. Yung fresh grated. Here, baby. <laughs> ah, Italian meatballs. <laughs> Usually, kasi nagmamadali ako kaya yung pag-chop. Parang malalaki siya. Pero dapat liliitan ninyo. Kasi hindi masarap kapag malaki. Mamay magre-reklamo siya. Malaki yung sibuyas. <laughs> Alright, salamat sa panunood. Um, see you sa next vlog.